Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert. Now, I'm not sure if I've ever admitted this out loud, but I'm addicted to microphones. They're my own personal catnip. I believe that having the best player with the best instrument in the best room is only complemented by having the best and right microphone in place for them. Um, it's why at its high point, my microphone collection was up to about 120. Don't tell my wife. Um, and I love reviewing microphones. They are, it's just my thing. I think since I was yay high to a grasshopper, they've been the thing that to me makes a difference. Uh, it's been an absolute joy to review these microphones behind me. These are two of the Audio-Technica 40 series. We have a 4080 and a 4081, and they are awesome. Both ribbon mics, both active ribbon mics with kind of transformer and circuitry stuff going on inside, but they both sound very different. So let's go to the 4080 first. This actually initially wasn't my favorite of the two, but it does have a very traditional kind of dark sounding, almost ribbon sound. Um, Audio-Technica actually call it a natural ribbon sound, which again, I think does lean towards that kind of darker, kind of more what we've known as a ribbon-esque sound. It's a beautiful microphone. There's a transformer in there. There's lots of goodies going on in there to give it that kind of really nice ribbon sound, but still make it a really usable mic in modern recording conditions. By that, I mean loud. This thing will easily handle whatever you give it. It's great for overheads. I've been using it on saxophone, on trumpet, loads of different stuff, sadly that I can't get cleared. But it sounds so nice and so kind of dark. Again, I don't know what better word to use. And so once you hear it, you'll know exactly what I mean. It sounds beautiful on voice. So the other mic we've been trying is this baby. This is the 4081. And it's not one of my favorite features, but listen to this. There's something very satisfying about that. Remove that plastic cover and inside you have what I believe to be the same ribbon element as the 4080. But this is a much brighter, much more modern sounding ribbon mic much more geared towards instruments than voice. There's nothing like the padding or windshielding in there. This has become my favorite mic for acoustic guitar. Also works really well on drum overheads because again, ribbons do something that's great for drum overheads. But um, we've been trying this out on acoustic guitar and in particular on this track, we've been trying it out in a bloom line configuration, meaning we have a pair of them at right angles, 45 degrees to the artist or to the guitar. Now, in this case, we've been working with a Portuguese artist called Joel Tavares. Uh, he's going to appear on a couple of um, video reviews with us in the next couple of months. But we thought we'd try a bloom line because, hey, we've got two identical mics. It's a technique that I learned about through doing a video with engineer and producer Jack Ruston. And hey, we've got them. We thought we'd try it. And it actually does give a really nice stereo picture to the acoustic guitar. Now, being that these babies are both figure of eight, because all ribbons by definition are figure of eight pattern, you get a really nice kind of interesting stereo image. But you also get great side to side rejection, which makes them fantastic when working with other microphones. Working with the 4080 in this case, which we used on Joel's voice. So again, no processing whatsoever going into the track. Um, it just sounds great. It has got that kind of dark overtones and we have put a little bit of reverb on things just to give it some space. But I think the stereo image from the guitar comes across beautifully using the two 4081s. And the vocal just sounds dark and rich and husky and kind of lovely using the 4080. Now, price-wise, these are not the cheapest mics you're ever gonna buy. Um, the 4080 comes in around about 860 pounds, ink VAT, and the 4081, a smidge over 600. Um, of course, resellers are gonna do deals on these things, but they're not cheap mics. But there is a difference when you buy a microphone from a brand such as Audio-Technica. You're not just buying a quality microphone, you're buying all the quality parts that go with it. The shock mounts for both 
4081 and the 4080 are beautiful. They're bespoke, they're custom made. There is definitely something to be said for not just getting uh, a piece of OEM Chinese kind of basket weavy shock mounty thing. There's nothing wrong with them, but these have a quality feel to them. Both mics are nice and weighty and nice and heavy, um, and they have been performing incredibly well. So to the track, of course there's a track. There's always a track. It's the law. Joel was great, came in, had a whole load of songs. We've done, uh, I think we've did three videos with him over a day. Uh, so you'll be seeing a lot more of him in reviews and things to come. But this is a great song called Rain Down. It's by him and it features three mics, the 4080 and two 4081s in Bloom Line configuration. So I really hope you enjoy the track that Joel recorded using these three fantastic microphones. My name's James Ivey and I will see you again soon for some more Gear Talk. How long will you have to wait for the rain to fall? How long will you have to wait for it all? In time you will realize what you had is gone. How long will you have to wait for it all?